Good morning, Lisa from the Peacock Parlor. I want to share with you today this keepsake journal that I made for myself. Um, this is the Black Thorn Flower Fairy. It's fabric. It's a single signature. It's probably got over 80 pages. 80 plus, I would say. This is a vintage postcard. That's the Willow Fairy. This is from my gnome book. Remedies that gnomes use. <laughs> I think it's cute. He's get out gathering out in the woods, gathering up his, his seed and using a divining rod. That's an Edith Holden page for my birth month. This is a envelope with some coffee stain paper in. My beet stain paper. This has got a these are Mrs. Cog's images in this book. And I made like a concertina with beet stain papers and flip it around this way. And the little images from Mrs. Cog's. So it's like a little, like a little book. I can make many wishes. <laughs> The fey wonders of the world only exist while there are those with a sight to see them. These are what to do if you have injuries. These are different teas. That's what I was reading was what, what the teas were. And this, this is what to do for injuries. <laughs> this is an embroidered piece of cardstock. And did I say embroidered? I meant to say embossed. Sorry. Of all the minor characters of mythologies, fairies are the most beautiful, the most numerous, and the most memorable. This is a trifold. This is from, uh, I believe it's William Morris, Artie Mays's Digitals. And I think you could have done separate tags, but I wanted to keep them together. The pages that I've used in here are a mixture of my porch prints and chapter one. That's my tea stain paper. This I got off of public domain. I'm not sure what it's listed as, but I thought it was very pretty. And then I have a feather in there for, uh, it reminds me of, like I said, of uh, fairy feathers. Greetings, farewells, and good nights. Gnomes rub noses for different occasions. <laughs> Very cute. 
This is the Lavender Fairy. And the Snapdragon Fairy. And this is the poem that she wrote of the Lavender Fairy and of the Snapdragon Fairy. And there's other poems on the back for other flowers. Coffee stain paper. I think these are Mrs. Cog's, the British Isles um, botanicals. More coffee stain paper that I make. This is an envelope with some cards in it. cards. They're cigarette cards. I guess they're cigarette cards. Sorry. More herbs that the gnome uses. St. John's Warts for depression and general listlessness. Here's a little pad of paper that I made with coffee stain papers. That's the elderberry fairy. Jackie Chimes makes these. I think they're adorable. Or something similar. More on the other side of the embossed paper. This, I believe, is from an Amity Bloom. Um, this might be Tracy Fox. These are these thoughts and um, quotes are actually from Mrs. Cog, uh, digital from Mrs. Cogs. Just living is not enough. One must have sunshine, freedom, and a little flower. Hans Christian Andersen. This has just some little journaling cards to maybe write down some addresses or thoughts. This is like a little folder with some different scraps of beet stain paper inside. My birthday month, Edith Holden Page. Pretty colors on those birds. butterfly card I made. These are, they're called shine cards and they were given to me by a co-worker in a secret Santa, I believe it was. And there's different cards and when you open them, there are different things to tell you or quotes or things to help remember or remind you to shine, to be yourself. Realize how good you really are. That's the one that I, I stuck them in several that I've made um, by everybody's uh, birthday months. 
and there's a spot on the backs of them that you could write you could write on right here like you could do a little bit of journaling and then I've included this card as a journal a journal card um, originally I thought it might be able to be used for a journaling board because sometimes when these journals get chunky it's kind of hard to write in them and you need a flat surface so I thought maybe these would work but I'm actually working on some other ones right now that are thicker and probably more practical so that is my keepsake journal my fairy flower fairy keepsake journal Thank you.